Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to RimWorld. Last time a smoke spewer rained down from the sky, but the best defense is ours. And today, my friends, we fight. I've waited long enough for this. We're being shot with arrows, but we have far superior firearms and grenades. Ooh, you go back further. Hide. Unfortunately, the one thing we're missing is armor. Um, okay, your kidney's been destroyed, go home. I do worry about our other defenders. We may live. Oh, it looks like one of the roofs collapsed on them. Came and hide. Came and hide. Okay, frab just day. Oh, Jeek's right lung was destroyed. We're going to need to re start replacing a lot of these organs. Unfortunately, all of the tribals are crap. It's not worth saving any of them. Cayman's nose was shot off. Jeek's right lung destroyed. Try as I might to save us, we're still Squidward. But no one will die, thankfully. No thanks to this thing, smoke will spew out and blot out the sun in a few days. And we need to prepare our crops because we still can't afford to fight this thing. We're not in really great shape, if you can't tell by now. It is with great pleasure that I inform you a giant smoke cloud is enveloping the region. Plants will no longer grow. And so now we move our farming to an indoor location, powered by sun lamps. The mechanoids have awoken and the smoke cloud is spreading. And the cows are on fire. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm pretty sure we can just safely ignore these and they'll walk into the spike traps. But now, my friends, a new harvest begins. A harvest of depression. I really need this colony cleaned and I need a lot more hauling to take place. That's why I need to convert these two prisoners. This guy keeps trying to escape, but he's asthmatic and he's just very badly injured and there's... The entire room is just, it's, it's cattywampus. However, this guy, we're helping to get over his addiction by keeping him in restraints for a couple of years. Hopefully by the end of this time, he won't be addicted to alcohol and psychites anymore. We also try to vomit nearby him. You're doing great, Mallard. Okay, this place is coming back into shape. Whenever you see repairs starting to happen, that means your colony's about to be A-OK -okay again. Look for this thing. Okay, our colonies bounce back from this recession. Out with the bad. We return to recruiting, cleaning, insulting. I rather enjoy this situation. Jeek is being insulted while he's viewing art. And now there's a fight. Fight, 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 fight. Fight. Good. Good fight. We'll just leave him there. You gotta pick him up. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Okay, now I've waited a long time for this. I'm sick and tired of there being sand everywhere. This is really one of the major problems you confront in the desert. So I'm just going to wall everything off. That's much better. That's better. There we are. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, manhunting caribou. Um... Oh, right, get the submachine guns. Okay, you set the entryway on fire. You stand there. You stand there. You stand there. You go back to bed. You go back to bed. This is great. Okay, the caribou are afraid of fire. No, they aren't afraid of fire. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. No, get away from those caribou. Some of them are on fire. Great. Oh, my God, they have no mercy. They're dead. Good job, everyone. There's still one out there. <laughs> they feast upon the flesh of the living. No, wait a minute. Don't try to fight a caribou in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're still out there. No, Cayman is being crushed by caribou. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can outrun this one. These things are... What is wrong with these animals? My god, these things are fast. Okay, Jeek. Help your man. Um, what you say? Mm, that you only meant, you know... Um, what you say? Oh, I thought that one would... That might be the end. Thankfully, no, uh... No permanent injuries. Probably some scarring, though, from that. Okay, fortunately, we've survived the caribou attack. And that's free meals. Some of them. Well, now a party. Prisoner recruitment. And we can use lobster as a hauler and a cleaner. I need these things. It fills me with gladness to watch him move about with great zeal. We're brewing beer. And overall, things are looking much more functional. Mallard is overcoming his addictions and being swayed to our cause. From all of the caribou, we're now able to create fine meals and make ourselves happier. And Zulu can continue staring at a desk until he understands everything. As all students do. Okay, the blood is being cleaned. This means we're back on top of things. And Wowzers, recon armor. We're just gonna keep going up the tree. Marine armor, advanced fabrication, and cataphract armor next. This. 
And this grants us the splendid opportunity to make one thing of recon armor. I don't think we'll be able to do much more than one, but it's something. Methinks that the armor, upon its completion, should go to his eminence. Jeek, thy name is righteous. Well, after all this, Mallard has overcome the alcohol addiction and has now nearly overcome the psychite addiction. Unfortunately walking again, so might go crazy, but he's got a lot of things to get over, so probably better off still imprisoned right now. It's time for defense, pavement, and the full nerd of the colony. That means I'm concreting. No more sand. I tire of it. Next, we take this mech low shield that we got, and we're going to reinstall this so that it defends us instead. Other people can't shoot us, but we can shoot them. And that ought to do, that ought to do. Now on to Mallard. Oh, a raid, but... Oh god! Okay, this is what I had anticipated. You two stay there. Prepare for the attack. Here they come. Our assault. Our submachine gun people are in place, though. Cayman's shot. Nothing too bad, just a needle gun shot. Okay, one down. And two. Two left to go. Get into position. Take out the great bows. And one remaining. And it looks like we'll have him as well. And he's taking a lot of hits now. I think that's it. Yes. A few injuries, but no, no major losses. Transport pod. No, but I want that. He'll go nicely in the pit of despair. Now, Mallard's actually done better in prison. He's been deprived of psychites, as he wouldn't be out here. And we have better control over him. He'll overcome this, and then we'll have better mood, and then he'll be able to be one of our colonists. He's very good. He's a jogger with a double-burning passion in plants, which is fantastic. I mean, ascetic and brawler are fine traits too, but I need him to run around, harvest plants, and clean. He's perfect. Completely perfect. Oh god, why would you do that when I said that? You know what? Just take out your anger. I welcome it. Go ahead. Good. Destroy! At least Cow 2 did most of the fighting for us, though. Okay, Mallard may have been maimed by a cow, but he's no longer addicted to Psychite. Sell flake and buy gold. Build. Cook. Finish. Stockpile. Fix. Get over the death of your uncle. And recruit Mallard. Okay, it's time for a new operation. This defoliator keeps killing my trees. While these traitors confront this new menace, I can use that as a distraction. These poor people. So here we go. We're literally just gonna walk up and shoot them all. I figure if we can take them fast enough, we'll win. Here goes one. Sparrowgeist is down. Sparrowgeist is down. Oh, oh they got out her other eye. That was really unlucky. Now she can't see anything. All right, what can we do with you? Never had a fully blind colonist. Oh God, everybody just has to have a tailgate after that thing. Well, fortunately the traders did a number on the smoke spewer. Yep, this is tricky now. Sparrowgeist is completely blind. A good colonist, I don't want to get rid of her. How is our research coming along? Well, we could next research bionic replacements if we wanted to, which would give us the option to give them bionic eyes. It's really the best that we can do with our civilization. You know, I think we'll do it. It's just a matter of prosthetics and bionic replacements, which won't take that long, actually. All right, we'll need a skill doctor, but we have one of those, so... More of that, I say. She's going around and she's doing things. Well, this is kind of crazy. She can still do pretty much everything. I mean, not that you can't if you're blind, but it's just like, look, she doesn't need a cane or anything. She's going right for a beer. I mean, you know, have whatever you want now. That's, you're a trooper for God's sake. All right, well, they finally have time to clean the colony. Now we're researching prosthetics. We can replace all the things we've lost. And then we can focus on what really matters, making a lot of money. I love it how in this game, you know, certain things piss them off, like not eating at a table. But, like, get both of your eyeballs shot out, and all you need is, like, another beer or two, and you just get right back in there. A testament to human resilience. Bravo, Sparrowgeist. Humanity! Okay, and Mallard is ready for recruitment. Who be blue? Okay, Mallard's been recruited. Fantastic, fantastic. He has both of his eyes, that's so useful. Okay, we're gonna, obviously we're gonna use him for plants and cleaning and hauling. Now, I'm genuinely interested in what's going on. Sparrowgeist is still, like, just running everywhere speedily, is still able to craft highly complex components, even with zero tenths of both the right and left eyes. To me, this is slightly OP. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't trust her in battle. But, I mean, to me, there's really, like, no real loss. You know, you maybe, yeah, I can't see. That's, you know... We'll get it back at some point. We're getting prosthetics. That's just amazing though. Com leads a completely normal life. A marvel of modern medicine or lack- there wasn't even any medicine involved. 
We didn't do anything. Just a marvelous woman. Okay, and here come bionic replacements. We'll need another generator. And Jovian has fallen from the sky. Yes, we'll take him. That'll be uh, more goodwill. He's gonna like it here. Okay, good show now. The normal people have normal bedrooms. The ascetic lives in a literal pit. You know, Sparrowgeist is a tough woman. Lives in a room of concrete and likes it that way and has had both of her eyes you know, it's like, it reminds me of my grandmother who lived through the depression. Very tough woman, very thrifty. This place is now great, so great. Oh god. Yeah, get out of there. That is not home. We've also got a second research table. Now Zulu and Jeek have more time on their hands. There's an immense amount of research to complete if they want to get more of these advanced technologies. It pays to use the spare time and have another table. And while it now seems that we don't actually need to replace people's eyes, there are certain other parts I'll need to replace because they are important. So we'll keep up the research on this, is what I'm saying. Now it appears as if the last of the cleaning is done. Okay, bionics. It's rather exciting. Expensive, but it's time for a splurge. Cayman will be making the bionic eye for Sparrowgeist. The only thing that would improve the chances of this going successfully would be to research sterile materials in hospital beds, so we'll go for that next. Now, I know that she can still craft, but I do think this slowed Sparrowgeist down being blind, so, you know, not a great. Uh, not a great change, is what I'm trying to say. And it's just about there. Oh, bionic eye. Majestic bionic eye. Next is an infirmary expansion, and the placing of at least a few sterile tiles down. For the rest, we just don't have silver, so we'll use steel tiles. May not be great, but it's better than nothing. Okay, and here it comes. Hospital beds. I don't think we'll go for vitals monitors. More than we need for now. But this will work for the operation. The bed is ready. Let's replace those eyes. Here goes nothing. The anesthesia is ready. Oh god. Oh god, will it work? Will it work? And- it worked! He improved! Okay, she can see even better than she could before. Good job. This operation has given Ibrahim confidence. And now Sparrowgeist can sort of see. See, see, see. Alright, well she has 79% of her old sight. Can't see anything out of her right eye, and the anesthetic is still affecting her, so that might even go up. But that's... She might not even really need the other eye very much. I always love seeing improvements. Especially physical improvements of the body. Constantly beer, though. Constantly beer, these- as like a colony of alcoholics. Sure enough, without the anesthetic, now she has 94% sight. This eye is almost two eyes. We might as well call her Polyphemus the Cyclops. I love medicine and recovery, and I feel great about the wonders of science. Well, it's an amazing day. Now we can replace anything lost with science. Feels good. Feels good when you get futuristic technology going. Technology will always lead the way. You know what else will lead the way? Advanced fabrication. Arming all of your colonists with heavy SMGs. Somewhat impressive prisoner cells. And accepting more tribespeople raids. I do everything for the goodwill. I'm a completely pure person. We will save you. We make quick use of reinstalling some barricades. And now we're ready for war. Are we- are we ready? Okay, here they come. Good. Defend the rich, as always- as we always do. Defend the rich! That was very one-sided. Ah, the glory of having cover and advanced warning. Justice for the one percent! We're going to reinvest this now into really upping our planting game. The more plants you have, the more money you have for stuff. And the more psychoid you have, the more money you have. Goodbye, bodies. Goodbye. I think I finally understand the story of Vanilla Rimworld now after 500 hours. Everybody knows the basic part, but nobody really understands the end goal is always natural supplements. Everyone is a cowboy, and it's very satisfying until you get to it, and then you, and then you start to question the meaning of it all. But now a new task rests with us. I've still yet to enter this industry, the Devil Strand industry. And what an industry it is. Intellectual level 20, legendary master. Zulu and Jeek have led the way. I like it every time that the researchers are done with a task, they go out for a nice meal and a drink. That lets us plant Devil Strand, obviously. And I think we'll just more or less cover the rest of the map in that. That's pretty, uh... It's gonna be a really slow grow. So that that's why... Yeah, this- this stuff, you just kind of put it in the ground and then you just... 
You wait a few years. Well, there it goes in the ground. May be a while, but it's, uh, it's nice to know that it's there. One more raid by a mech hive. Here they come. Sky, prepare to fight. Ooh. Ah, uh, Cayman's right arm was shot off. And Ibrahim's left lung was destroyed. Oh, she needs some milk. She needs some milk. Okay. Well, that prosthetic research was for good. Bionic arm coming right up. He also needs some milk. Well, I can never get over losing all of those body parts. Our colonists certainly have given a lot of body parts, but they've been replaced with improved ones. If only there were a way to get better armor earlier. It seems like it's such a late game thing, but I digress. It was a steep cost to make that recon armor, and Jeek is safe. Maybe in the future we'll experiment with, like, medieval plate armor, I don't know. There's not really that many options between, uh, Neolithic and, and super advanced. But whatever the threat, we have our medicine, we have our doctors, and that's the best we can do. Well, I hope you're enjoying this giant mess. It keeps getting better. It keeps getting better. And I like it more than ever. And I like you. Well, many thanks, I hope you enjoyed. As always, a major thanks to viewers like you, and a major thanks to to my patrons. And I can't thank you enough. No, really, you're splendid. Thank you. More extreme desert to come. I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Cheerio now. Goodbye. Goodbye.